Good morning, folks. This is Deb, and we're back on the Project 2025 circuit this morning. So you remember my first video a couple of days ago, we talked about all of the things that affect every single American, because Project 2025 isn't just about going after demographic groups of people who are minorities. It will affect every single American in this country one way or another, whether it's, you know, not allowing you to unionize, uh, not allowing you to be get, get overtime pay. OK, they're going to change the standards for overtime pay so you can work longer hours for less money on behalf of corporate America. Um, you know, sick time, um, going after uh, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, all of those things that are not entitlements, but earned benefits, things that we paid taxes for. So that that's bad for all of America. You know, worker rights. Uh, safety on the job, child labor, that affects every single American one way or another, because the majority of the people in this country are working class people, okay? But when you get into the demographic groups that are being targeted by the right is where it really piles on, because you got all that bad stuff just as an American, and then you got shit because you're a woman. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning. And we're going to talk largely uh, due to time constraints, because I don't want this video to be an hour long, about abortion, okay, which is a should be something that we talk about, because it's only going to get worse from here. If you thought the whole row thing was bad, Project 2025 piles it on. So what they can do, even in safe states, is refuse to fund your state based on how you handle abortion. If you're a safe state like Massachusetts, under the threat of a funding loss, they're going to require states like Massachusetts to report to the CDC, quote, accurate and reliable statistical data about abortion, abortion survivors, and abortion-related maternal death, okay? They're going to require, quote, fetuses born alive, end quote, to be treated after abortion. They will withdraw Medicaid funds for states that require abortion insurance, or that discriminate in violation against the Weldon Amendment, which declares that no HHS funding may go to a state or local government that discriminates, discriminates against pro-life health entities or insurers. They want the states audited for Hyde Amendment compliance. Now, everybody will remember the Hyde Amendment. I trust that was how the right started whittling away at Roe just two years after Roe was was given approval by the Supreme Court, okay? In 1975, they attached the Hyde Amendment, which said that no federal funding can fund an abortion, okay? Uh, they're gonna require the CDC to track abortion across various demographic indicators to assess whether certain populations are targeted by abortion providers. This is the stuff of QAnon, folks, okay? This is conspiracy th theory, eugenic shit. This is, are we targeting the white population for elimination? That's what that chatter is all about. They want to reverse the Biden administration's support for travel to get abortion health care if you are in a red state. They want to pro prohibit Planned Parenthood from receiving Medicaid funds and allow states to defund Planned Parenthood and their state Medicaid program. So in other words, you're in a safe state like Massachusetts, but you have a reversal of fortune where you have a GOP legislature at some point. At that point, Planned Parenthood is fair game for defunding. They want to reverse the FDA's approval of Mifepristone. And if they can't achieve that goal, they want to at least go back to the 2016 rules where none of that could be sent through the mail. So in other words, if you're in a red state and you're desperate, you don't get that help. They want to prohibit stem cell research and stop, quote, the development and testing of the COVID-19 vaccines with aborted fetal cell lines, end quote. So much for science, but you know, we've got a whole lot of nutbags in this country who, you know, will go along with that. They want to affirm the, quote, rights of conscience to deny medical care. In other words, if you're a doctor who doesn't believe in an abortion, you should be able to just refuse to provide a woman with health care, even if she's in need of an abortion for medical purposes. They want to declare that abortion and euthanasia are not health care. 
and they want to reverse the Biden interpretation of the Emergency Medical Treatment and Active Labor Act, EMTALA, which requires treatment of women who are miscarrying and that treatment may involve an abortion. You know, we're not even talking about women's other rights, but we will talk about that in a subsequent video because this thing can't go on for hours. But a lot of people who think this is, you know, it may not happen. It's kind of far-fetched. Well, you know what? If you're living in, well, Iowa, you know, Arkansas, Kentucky, and several other red states, Florida, uh, Texas, you know, Project 2025 is, is already underway in those states. There are women being arrested for miscarrying. There was a girl, 19 years old, who has been sent to prison for ordering muffin per stone. She's in prison for 90 days, I believe. All right. They are already in some states passing legislation to monitor highways so women can't travel to other states. This is happening right now in some red states. This is not a joke. And this is not, you know, a distraction. We were told that the whole row overturn was just a distraction by the Democratic Party to make the right wing look bad. We were told that in 2016, even though Donald Trump told us flat out that he was going to stack the Supreme Court to overturn Roe. And since he has, since then, he has taken credit for it every single day he's made a speech. You know what? It's the same thing. The same principle applies to his commentary over the weekend where he told his Christian supporters, just vote this last time and you'll never have to vote again. I've had seen people say, well, the only people who buy into that are MAGA people. Well, no, that's not what he's doing. He's not asking you to buy into it. He's just literally telling you there won't be any voting going on if I'm elected. Okay? He's literally telling you from his mouth to your ears that he's going to be your dictator for life, not just for the first day. That's what that was. We don't need the news media to then go in and say, well, this, how, this is how we could take this. No, that's not how you can take this. You can take this right from his mouth to your ear and know exactly what he's talking about. It is not as if it's the first time he's ever said those words. He has said it repeatedly. And he has promised women a nightmare repeatedly. We will be back again with another Project 2025 video later this week. In the meantime, hang in there. We're still waiting for our VP selection, and there will be more excitement coming. I'll talk to you soon.